Don't wait for Hollywood. I'm using Hollywood in a meta metaphorical way. Hollywood's not going anywhere. It's right where it is. It's up to you to bring and make it what you want to make it, your own cinema, including Hollywood. <laughs> And there were a few people that worked with Marty that were there, and nobody else, no Marty. And they said, uh, sit down. I sat down. Then they said, get up. You see that hallway and that light coming out of that room? I said, yeah. They said, go down and walk into that room with the light on. And he says, sit down. I said, who are you? He said, just sit the fuck down. I said, excuse me? He said, what? I said, I don't know who you are. He said, sit the fuck down. I said, go fuck yourself. And he gets up and comes toward me. I get up, I'm, go I'm up already. I go toward him and then I hear a voice from the back of this dark room saying, Harvey, Harvey, no, no. I turn around, Scorsese. Coming down the aisle, he got in the back door. He said, Harvey, it's an improvisation. It's an improvisation. <laughs> I said, Marty, come here. Next time you do an improvisation, it's a good idea to tell your actor. <laughs> I read the screenplay, and it was just one of the most unusual scripts. We're talking about Reservoir Dogs. Um, just his writing alone was just something out of the ordinary. It just moved me in a certain way, like, you know. When you move, when you have a revelation seeing a piece of art somewhere, you just, you know, your head sort of shifts. You know, what, what, is it? what is this? And that's how we first met. Violence is a real thing. And true violence is horrible and hurtful and destructive. What's wrong with any art, any art discipline that displays violence for commercial reasons, it's wrong. But we have to know violence, we have to know danger because it exists. So we have an obligation to display violence in an authentic way as part of the nature of things. And our choice to use it or not is something else. That's a moral thing.